Hello and welcome back member to Windows 11 video series connecting Windows 11 to OneDrive and cloud storage and in just few steps you will learn how to set up and access your files on cloud seamlessly so let's get started well here we are connected to our Windows 11 machine and to locate our OneDrive product so we're going to type OneDrive and then it will appear like that and click to the OneDrive and it's gonna open on the desktop now here at this point you should know that to connect your Windows machine to the OneDrive cloud you should need an email account an email address that must be from the Hotmail or from the OneDrive because that will enable you to connect your machine and connect your system to your OneDrive setup because the licensing thing should be managed over your account so first you need to select your account to set up OneDrive thing so here's the email address that I'm going to use and then click to sign in and if you already have an email account so you just need to type the email account here and then click to the sign in and it will take a while to connect you to the OneDrive interface and here you can see the loading starts and it will show you this visit and you need to you know complete the visit to set up this OneDrive solution to your machine and it will ask you some necessary things that you need to provide here like do you want to send optional data about OneDrive and Office to the Microsoft so let's go to don't send optional data except and here you need to select a directory a folder here from your Windows 11 machine so what's gonna happen that whatever the location and the folder you provide here later on when you want to sync your files and folder over the cloud what you should do is to copy and put the file in that specific directory and that will be synced to the cloud and wherever you have synced the same directory on your laptop or any other machine so you will see the sync between these two directories over remote devices and that's the benefit we get from the cloud access and the cloud storage now here you can change the directory and select any other folder as well but if you go with the same OneDrive folder so you will start seeing this OneDrive on the quick access now let's click to the next if you are sure about the directory and here you can see that scanning and what it says back of folders on this PC so these are the basic folders that someone really wanted to sync and back up over the cloud now here you can see files will be backup protected and available anywhere in OneDrive and all you need to do is to log into your OneDrive account and then you can access all these files that are kept and stored and saved in these locations now here you can see that all these folders are ready to back up so if you just need to do what toggle on or toggle off these button and rest of the process will be done automatically now here if you enable this so you need what it says that you need some more storage because it's will, it will take about 58.3 gigs which is over your limit you have only 5 gig because we are using the basic subscription we haven't purchase any other you know OneDrive storage from the Microsoft that's why we have just you know this random and you would say the basic default storage available but if you have already purchased some Microsoft account and some space on the OneDrive so you can use that specific account here and it will let you to easily sync all your data now right now I'm going to toggle off all these options because we don't have space we are running out of storage but let me for example to show you some practical example of this process let me toggle on this picture folder that I really wanted to back up over OneDrive or further if you want to skip that process you can go with go for this option I'll do it later and then it will be done again when you find some more storage in your OneDrive now then click to the start backup button and it will take a while to 
make the backup of your picture or any selected folder over the cloud and here it says and here you can see that it shows you the Microsoft 365 personal subscription and that's really basic and it gives you one terabytes of storage advanced security bigger personal vault and other premium apps for PC and Mac like the Word and Old Microsoft solution so you can get this on like $6.99 per month but we are not going to purchase or subscribe any other offer let's click to not now and here are a few more things that needs to be set up so share files and folder it says what that to let other people view and edit your files you can share them you can also work on folder shared with you so what happens that if someone already shared their folder over over the cloud and you can sync that specific folder to your machine and this one drive enables you to work on that shared location to make the collaborative environment and click next and you can also get the mobile app mobile app from here that you can install in your android machine android phone or android device and then you can easily sync and connect it to all your files that are stored in your laptop or desktop now we will go for later and then click to open my onedrive folder and there it is these are some previous files that I already sync to the cloud. And what happened that when I create this OneDrive folder, it does what? That it creates the OneDrive folder in my machine and it synced all the files that are stored previously on the OneDrive in that local machine. And also it adds this picture directory. So whenever I paste and I create the new file in this picture folder, what happens that it will be synced over the cloud and it could be accessible anywhere where you have the OneDrive access with the same user account. So this is your OneDrive directory, but there are a few more options that you can configure and you can manage regarding this OneDrive file sync. Now here you can see that your privacy setting has been applied from changes you made in another Office app. So you can manage it from here as well. But there are some more settings like if you want to customize some uploading and some syncing options so you should go to the settings and directly click to the setting now here it opens the sync and backup in here you can manage all the frequency when your file will go to the cloud and here it says what backup important pc folder to the onedrive so you can manage backup and you if you already arrange some more storage in your onedrive so you can add some more directories and enable it from there then it says what say photos and videos to onedrive and i connect a camera phone or any other device to my pc so you can turn it on and it will do what it will save photos and videos directly to the onedrive and it will be synced to your cloud storage and it could be accessible from anywhere around the world when you have the internet access or access to the same account from which you are using the OneDrive. Then it said save a screenshot I capture to the OneDrive. If you enable it, whenever you take the screenshot, it will directly goes to your OneDrive. Then it said well, pause syncing when this device is in the battery saver mode, pause syncing when the device is on meter network. So all these options are helpful. Then limit download rate. So you can set up a limit for the download that because when you sync your cloud drive to your local machine what happens that whatever the files that are stored in that specific cloud drive will be downloaded to your machine to download it to your home device and what happens that it takes some downloading of your internet so you can set it up that how much speed per second it could take like how much kb per second it should take while the downloading is going on or because it's related to you know uploading more than download because whenever you create the new file it goes to the cloud storage and that scenario gives you the understanding that it, it required uploading more than the download so you need to adjust the uploading because when it do the uploading it takes a lot of you know bandwidth of your internet connection so you can adjust that bandwidth here and that's a good option that you are able to adjust it or if you are not careful to it you can go with that just automatically or further you can turn off these options the 
customization of the bandwidth while syncing files to the cloud. Then you can exclude any file extension like it says exclude items won't get back up to the OneDrive but cloud items will still sync to this computer. So you can exclude any file, you can enter any extension that will be prevented later on to be synced over the cloud. Then you have file on demand, OneDrive download cloud, cloud files with PC. The first time you open them to change offline accessory files, select an option below. So you can set up this option like you can free up the disk space that you know your OneDrive already taken or you can download all these files. So it, it says that if this setup will use 5 MB of your space on this PC and include all files currently set to free space or online. So these are option, other options that you could try and free up some space over your cloud drive. And here under the storage, you can see it shows that how much the drive has been used. And it says like 0.1 gig. So we have like 4 point something space remaining in our one drive. And further, if you want to go for the more space, you can click to the upgrade and it will show you the packages, the offers that you should try for more space. And here it says start your trial to get more space on us. And you can try with the 100 gigs. And there are a lot more other offerings regarding the OneDrive as well. Then you can click to the accounts and it gives you the settings where you can manage your accounts you can choose folders on this pc that you really want it to sync over the cloud from here and here you can see choose what you want to be available on your onedrive folder these files will be available on demand and selected folder will be hidden from the file explorer so you can because what happens that whenever you download whenever you sync your machine to the onedrive it downloads all these folders so if you make if you select make all files available so all files will be available but if you go with make all files available or make these folder visible so it won't show these files and here it says what zero kb used on this pc so this is these all files are associated with your one drive it's not downloaded on your machine it's just available and we can check it by opening the one drive here that when when we remove the check on all against all these files that you can see that all files are hidden so the thing that we were talking before that it downloads the file which is now clear so you can also clear yourself right now that when you sync your drive and when you start seeing the one drive folder on your machine it doesn't mean that it downloaded the file from your your previous file from your OneDrive to your machine. It is just it's just showing the file because it says zero KB used on this PC. So that clears that clarify that it won't take any space on your local machine. Then here for the personal vault for security, your personal vault automatically locks when you're not actively actively using it. So you can set up this timer currently is set to 20 minutes. That's a default. Then the notification, because what happens that when this OneDrive is active, it continuously shows you some notifications. So you can manage all these notifications from here. Notify me when a large number of files are deleted in the cloud. And these sort of notifications sometimes give you the, you know, the information that what is going on with the drive. Or if your shared folder is used somewhere else, so you should know that what is going on with the folder and the files and there is another option notify me when another share with me or edit my share items that's good these sort of notifications are really important to keep track on your files and your data then notify me when on this day memories are available notify me before my files that i deleted on my pc are removed from the cloud yeah that's a good notification that you really need to enable it then this about and it gives you the device ID, OneDrive version and other stuff related to information. So this is all about the OneDrive thing and this is same goes with the G drive and other cloud storage drives if you sync all these drives to your machine but, but we will cover it in another video so thanks for watching this video.